In this example, we're asked to find the Norton equivalent for this circuit. The circuit reduction technique work will not work here since this is a ladder network. First, we'll take a look at these equations and we're going to find the, the IV characteristics associated when connecting to the load. So the first thing we'll do here is for mesh A, shown here and here, is what we're going to calculate to calc uh, find the IV characteristics and then for mesh C we don't have to since we know what the current is in this case which is just 2 amps. So for mesh A we can do this by inspection we have IA common in 60 and 180 so IA goes through the 60 ohm resistor as well as the 180 ohm. Alright, we're finished with IA. Now what currents are common going through the 60 ohm resistor is minus IC and what's common th through the 180 ohm resistor is minus IB. So it's, we have 180 IB minus 60 IC and then we have the minus 40 on the left side but putting in the other side is 40 volts so that's for mesh A for mesh B we have the 180 and the 15 ohm so IB is 180 and the plus 15 ohm and we have a minus 180 going in the opposite direction 180 IA and in for the 15 ohm we have minus 15 IC and we have a positive V on this direction but that means it's minus V in this equation here. We note that IB is equal to I and that IC is equal to 2 amps. Substituting these values in mesh A and mesh B yields the following 240 IA minus 100 80 I is equal to minus 100 minus 80 and that minus 180 I A plus 195 I is equal to minus 30 minus V. Now we can solve for I using Kramer's rule. So here, that is we take the determinant of this matrix that we can form here. 240 minus 180 minus 180 here and 195 here. And then in the numerator we have solving for I 240 here negative 180 here then we replace it with the terms on the right 80 here and minus 30 minus V here. And that will give us minus 21,600 minus 240 V all over 14,400 and we can simplify that to 
negative 1.5 minus v over 60. Now we can compare it with another relationship, the IV relationship of the Norton equivalent. And that's given as I is equal to IN minus V over RN. And when you compare this equation, that implies the current source IN is equal to negative 1.5 and RN is equal to 60. Rewriting this and drawing a block diagram that is, IN is equal to 60 that is in parallel our Norton equivalent resistance of 60 ohms and thus we replace that mesh circuit found here with a single current source looking into this direction and a single voltage source that is connected in parallel. Now we connect this to a load. Now let's say we're asked to find the interface current I when the power delivered to this load is 5 watts. So we want to see what I is. Here, we know that power is equal to IV, and so that's just 5 watts is equal to IV. But we have a relationship for I here. I'll highlight that for you. That's given here. And then we use this relationship here substitute for V since we can solve for V here 5 divided by I substituting this relationship now into here yields the, a quadratic equation given as I is equal to 12 I squared plus 18i plus 1 equals 0 and you can verify that for yourself and then you can verify that the roots is equal to negative 0 0.5778 amps and negative 1.442 2 amps. So these are the two values of the interface current that will deliver 5 watts to this load.